Cisco ASA V VPN, dual authentication, local accounts, and dual for the MFAPs. Now this doesn't have to be ASA V, but, um, but the series is focused around ASA V, so I kept that theme. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in our duo dashboard, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an application. And I've got this shrunk up here just so I can keep both um, the duo application side as well as the ASDM on the same page without having to flip between the two. So you can see there's some crunching here, but, um, but anyways, so we're gonna look for Cisco ASA SSL VPN. And we'll protect that application. And when we do that, there's a bunch of parameters that we can set within the application. We're not going to go into that too much detail because I've got other videos with that. Um, but we're going to get it all set up, right? And, and the user account that we're going to have already in Duo. And we're going to assign it that application. So in ASDM, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to clientless SSL VPN and web controls. And what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, a file that we downloaded from the, the page on the side, right underneath the, the Cisco ASA SSL VPN header, it says download duo Cisco package. We've downloaded that and we've up, uploaded that JavaScript into that spot within clientless VPN. Now what we're gonna do here is there's a specific uh, JavaScript that we gotta call. So it's a piece of code that we're gonna inject and so what we do, we'll, we'll do is we'll jump to the, um, the guide and we'll pivot down to the section where that piece of code is. And again, remember this is complimentary. This shows you how to get it configured and set up, but it doesn't hurt to review the guides and understand exactly what is in there and maybe some uh, focus around maybe more of the optimization or additional settings that you can leverage. Now you can see this, this uh, line of code here where you see that Cisco-VX, that X actually corresponds with the file version that we downloaded, um, in this case, 6. And you can see that when we imported the file, it, it, was, uh, it said V6 um, in that file. So now we've got those two components done within clientless VPN. Now what we need to do is go and, and configure a, um, a AAA um, server group that will use LDAP that will call um, Duo for our second factor, right? And so we'll give it a name here. We'll call it uh, Duo-LDAP, sounds pretty good. And once we do that, we go down to the bottom section, we add, and now we actually, we highlight the, that duo-ldap. Then what we do is we add, and now we're gonna configure the LDAP settings. So for the server name or IP address, we're gonna actually put in the API host name. We're gonna change the timeout to 60. For our base DN, it's going to start with DC equals, and then it's the integration key. And then it's comma DC equals duo security, comma duo, or sorry, DC equals com. And copy that because we're going to use that as the, the the login DN as well. Naming attribute CN, so common name. And then the password's gonna be our secret key. Get that in there. Say okay. And so now we have there our dual LDAP server group and now we've got our uh, server uh, parameters for that group. Okay, 
moving along here in client list SSL VPN now we go to connection profiles and the reason why we got to go here is we've got to select it to use that second factor so we go into advanced secondary authentication we go to dual LDAP um, and then it just uh, you can hide that per, that uh, the secondary name go ahead and apply that and so that's done for client list there's nothing more to do on the client list side but uh, we also want to have a second factor for our any connect client so we'll create a profile I didn't have one created here you may already have one so just edit that one and when we come back we're gonna do umbrella and so we're gonna modify the 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 platform again right to add those modules that we want deployed okay so in preferences part two we want to just change this to 60 seconds timeout but the other thing is we still got to go back to that connection profile right because we have to select that second factor so let's go back to client profiles or sorry connection profiles I should use the right term here and let's go to secondary authentication and let's select our duo dash LDAP server group use use primary username so hide that secondary username on login and apply that and that's it right six minutes so maybe seven um, you have built out the integration with duo now here what I'm going to do is quickly create a group and I've got a sales one user so I'll probably assign it to this group but when you're going through and configuring it this you can also start looking at you know what devices connect what the health of the device is. there's a lot of stuff that you can do with duo I'm not including that stuff in this particular video I have other videos that talk more about that but there's a lot more that you can do further ensuring the asset that's connecting is the assets you want connecting right and I always say it's the the context of everything right it's the, the the context of the user the context of the device and all of that builds one context um, of understanding of that asset and then whether or not you want it to connect here's where we can apply a group policy so we can come in here and add that uh, ASA VPN group if you don't select a policy you're gonna get an error here so you need to select a policy or create one I have what happen to have one here and this just tells you specifically things that you want the connection to, 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 to also look at right um, and again I've got other videos about that specifically and here's a kind of an idea of the group policy full disk encryption etc right all right so that's it let's jump to a, a, a workstation and log in so we already got the web page open to uh, client list VPN we'll log in with sales one user put in the password log in and look at that I can uh, send a push call me enter a passcode in this case I'll send a push just hiding a little bit of detail there hit OK and I'm on that's it let's try the uh, any connect client there's a little bit difference here this time I'm using a passcode and I actually got it sent to me um, so go ahead and put in your um, username and password and this is where that second password is going to be that SMS passcode or you can go look at the passcodes within your dual application And that's it check that out nine minutes we've got it configured with second factor authentication and we even tested it pretty cool stuff